Hey everybody, it looks into Swirl here. We're gonna do a pour, another Dollar Tree pour. Uh, I had done a pour with shuttlecocks previously, uh, in which I had them, I had them button or whatever this is actually called. Maybe this is the birdie and these are the feathers. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this side up, I tried to set them up and then I also curved this up woo, like that. Uh, and it was interesting, but it wasn't very exciting. So then, <laughs> Mixed Media Girl took her turn at doing uh, pouring over shuttlecocks, and she tried it this way as well. And then one of her uh, subscribers or, or followers suggested taking the red button off, and then you can set it like this. So uh, I thought, well, all right, let's, let's bounce it back here, and we will try that idea, and we'll do it with three of them because why not make it more complicated? This is a 10 by 10 canvas, so I need 6.25 ounces minimum. I'm gonna layer in my bowl. This is a 10 ounce bowl that I haven't bothered to clean out, but the paint is dry, so it won't affect anything. I thought it would be kind of interesting to go with the phthalos. So I have phthalo green, phthalo red, and phthalo blue, plus I have Liquitex Basics Turqu oh, turquoise blue, Artist Law Flow Acrylic in white and black, and Blacrylic Violet. I'm just curious here. Now see, the, the Thalo Red is a Blacrylic color, and the Thalo Blue and Green are both Liquitex Basics. So, but that's, that's what we're gonna use. Uh, more than half of this, and then we're gonna pour, and we're gonna see what happens. So let's get started. Right, right. Some of these I mixed very recently. <laughs> not today, but recently. So they may not be perfectly ready to go yet. We'll find out. A little bit of a light blue permanent, which I haven't used in a while. And a little fluorescent violet. And because I just mixed this up yesterday also, or the day before, a little, little Artist Loft Floor Acrylic Yellow. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do, these are probably gonna fall over. I may want to hold each one with a fingertip as I'm pouring into it, so I will pour and then pour and then pour, I think, and keep going around like that until we use up our paint, and we'll see what we get. Because why not? Art is fun. Okay, here we go. Let it sit there for a minute and see if anything further comes out. There is more paint in here. I may rest these off to the side and get the what's left inside out if I can. I like the uh, I like the patterns better already. This is much more interesting than what I got the other way with the feathers down instead of up. Okay, and now we do it.
That is really neat. I like that. I kind of lost the third one over here, but I love those purple, so that's that's pretty cool. And I still have the patterns from the other two, so that's pretty cool. Very, very pleased with this. I think that's a thank you to the follower of Mixed Media Girl who suggested doing it this way. And for Mixed Media Girl for, for doing it this way. <laughs> Very, very interesting patterns, and I like it a lot. Okay, hang tight. I'll clean up my hands, and we'll go in for our close-up. Here is the lower left corner. Across the bottom. Sorry about the glare, but it's really dark outside, so I'm getting bad lighting in here. Lower right corner. Up the right side. Isn't that beautiful? Oh gosh, I love that. Upper right corner, across the top, that whole thing. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So pretty. Upper left corner, and down the left side. Look at all those blues, purples. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Alrighty. And then the entire enchilada. There she is. She is gorgeous. Oh, this makes me so happy. So, have you guys tried pouring through shuttlecocks in either direction? Let me know. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe, everyone. I will see you in the next video.